Look at this thing. The torpedo boat from the future. Four inch guns on an 1890s design. What's not to like? Hey guys, still here. Welcome back to more Ultimate Abnormal Dreadnoughts. Because I have been tinkering with the save files yet again. And that means that you can get tech from 1940s in 1890. That's something that you do specifically for your one ship design. And if you want to know more about that, link down below in the description about how you can edit the save files. Before we continue with Dreadnoughts though, a bit about today's sponsor, which is Infinite Galaxy. It's a next generation immersive space game built for Android and iPhone. You're playing in the year 4649 during a war between the Federation and the Empire. In this galaxy, which is full of conflict, you can start by preparing your own spaceport. And from there, you build out your own fleet. You'll eventually get a flagship, defeat space pirates, and explore the galaxy. Now, as you might imagine, these flagships, as you can see them here, they don't come cheap. You're going to have to earn them. You need to tech up, you need to find space relics and complete missions, and you're slowly going to get those flagships for yourself. But you don't do that alone, as you work together with millions of other players in real time. As you play, you will slowly uncover more and more of the ancient secrets and lore of the Empire and the Federation. In order to play the game, download it through the link down below in the description, and you're going to get an in-game gift package all for free. And now, back to Dreadnoughts. Um, what I've done is made a torpedo boat from hell. Or, well, a torpedo boat from the future, essentially. Because this is a torpedo boat from 1890. It's five torpedo boats against five battleships. Normally, already a bit of a difficult task for the battleships, but especially if they're up against torpedo boats from 1940. Well, it's not strictly true. I mean, the, the torpedo boat itself is 19 or 1890, but the tech? Oh boy. So we're going to make it a bit more difficult. I'm going to add a couple of light cruisers to shield the enemy American, in this case, enemy uh, battleships. So what is so special about this guy? Um, it has geared turbines too. Normally you can only get the steam engine. Uh, it's currently even considered obsolete because, as I mentioned, I made a change to the save files and that now gives me even gas turbines as an option. That makes your torpedo boats fairly expensive at 6.5 million, but it does mean that you can travel at 38 knots and still have a ton of displacement left. So what else can you do? with this weird stuff. Oh, by the way, your engine efficiency is going to be absolutely atrocious because you cannot upgrade the boilers. As much as I have better tech, I cannot upgrade the boilers, but I can change the fuel type or fuel, uh, sorry, full oil burners and thereby make the engine efficiency at least a little better. Anyway, um, what is so special about this guy? Well, it's carrying a 24 inch torpedo tube. Normally you get the smallest torpedo tube here, which is 15 inch. But I gave this guy 24-inch torpedo tube. Uh, you can potentially... Can you get a triple? Yeah. Yeah, I see nothing wrong with this. Um, this weighs 121 tons. And one hit does 1,700 damage. 1,700 damage against battleships which have not been equipped with anything that looks like a torpedo blister. So they are basically dead the moment that these things get close. What else can you do? Well, um, I can get four inch guns. I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna do that in the next round. Uh, first, we're gonna do this. So let's see if I can get my offset a little bit less. It's 13.1, it's not great, but it'll have to do. Armor, however, you cannot put on this ship. We'll just have to move around without armor, which is fine. Um, as for speed, we're doing 38 knots with the Zippo. It's a fast torpedo boat. Very, very, very fast. Can she get kills? Undoubted. <laughs> Although, actually, um, for what I have in mind with this ship, I know this looks utterly terrible. But this way, I can have one torpedo tube looking starboard and one torpedo tube looking port. I know it's terrible, but it is a way that you can use two separate tubes for two separate targets. 
as opposed to dumping three torpedoes, which are overkill as they are, into one target. So with this one, we're going to have to do a full drive-by, and with this one, a drive-by on the other side. Nice. Let's go. I get five of these chonkers as well. So this should be fun. We're facing the Massachusetts as one of the enemy battleships. Starting range is not very far at all, as the enemy is about 5,000 meters out. Now, these torpedo tubes can hit out to 11 clicks, which means that the enemy probably doesn't even see me. Uh, but they will see the torpedoes, and that might save them. Because in this era, battleships are small. And battleships are so small that their turning circles are generally extremely good. So that means that a torpedo of 24 inch is very detectable, considering it's a fast torp, and also quite dodgeable, because they get plenty of warning, and it's not entirely unlikely for them to just turn away from the target. Now, what I'm going to have to do here is detach everybody. We're going to make sure that they do not avoid collisions, and I'm going to give them all a separate target. So you're going to take the lead target, uh, you're not going to really launch that torpedo tube. You're going to take the second target. Launch if you can. You're going to take the third, but you're not going to launch yet. And you're going to continue right on course. Torpedo away from the Zippo. Uh, torpedo away from the Altair. Now, in this case... Oh, what? Okay. I did not realize that they can launch both torpedoes in the same direction. That's cute. Unexpected, but I like it. Um, if these guys get hit, we're probably looking at a few thousand points of damage. But as you can see, they have detected the torps. Is that enough? Uh, no. <laughs> one shot, one kill. Normally, I have to rely on flooding. Boom. Um, normally, I have to rely on flooding in order to kill a battleship. In this case... You don't. Not really. He might get lucky. No, he doesn't. Oh, you got hit again. You absorbed the hits for the second battleship. Uh, that's unfortunate. Anyway, um, that is two battleships out of commission. Let's see, how expensive are these? The Zippo is down, though. This is 9.3 million for a battleship. Because I have such high technology, I am paying just about as much for a torpedo boat. Tech is expensive. Very expensive. Now, I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, these things reload very quickly. You can reload a 24-inch torpedo tube, apparently, in under three minutes with a veteran crew. So these guys can hit well above their displacement. So, in essence, well above their weight class. But what they cannot really do is do that cheaply. Because losing one torpedo boat is almost as expensive as losing uh, a battleship here. Let's see what the Clio does. Stop. I wanna... Oh, she already launched both. Okay, fine. The Rhode Island might instantly detect those. Because these torpedoes have a hell of a wake. So they're very easy to spot. Oh, you also torped. No, you did. Okay, great. Uh, that means you're effectively out of this fight, because you cannot do any more damage. Now, this battleship is going to be in a spot of bother. Although... No. Dead. Yeah, it's not fair using uh, technology that's 50 years superior to what you're running. Okay. Um, I have three torpedo boats, they have a few battleships, and a heavy cruiser or two. Sorry, a light cruiser or two. Let's make this work. Oh shit, the Clio's loading. I cannot use the Clio yet, but I can use this guy to take out the Wisconsin. And ideally, I just want to use one torpedo tube. Just one. Yes, hold. Hard to port. Next target, Galveston. How quickly can these turn? 414 meters. This thing is going so fast relative to the 18 knots on this battleship that I doubt that she's going to be able to get out of the way in time. Because they have very little time to respond. 
Vega. Light Cruiser New Haven is yours. Boom. Target eliminated. Okay, we're now going to chase down Galveston there. And you're going to torp the New Haven. Which is already pretty badly damaged by low-tech 2-inch guns. I didn't upgrade these at all. Boom. <laughs> okay. That was a little cruel. One battleship surviving. Also one light cruiser surviving. Torpedo away. Galveston detects it. And is not falling for that bullshit. Good for her. Good for her. Oh, the Connecticut is. <laughs> uh, adjusting save files for fun and profit. Okay. I wonder how far we are with the reload of the other torpedo tube. I'm not sure. I'm also not sure if we can actually rotate these torpedo tubes to the other side of the boat. We might. Yeah, here we go. They're finally rotating. I thought they were so close together that they could not rotate. That they were essentially locked in position. But that apparently is not true. Okay, Galveston. Uh, I need to get a little closer. Because I do need you dead. And I'm not... The fuck? And I'm not relying on guns to do that with. Your torps are off. Oh, you're already gone. Okay, cool. So, 24-inch um, torpedoes on these super torpedo boats are a little unfair. But, what if I change the design? What if I kick out the torpedo tubes? And just give them one torpedo tube because they have to. But make it very small. Like just your 18-inch torpedo. Instead, I can up the draft, no, the beam, making the ship wider. And I can give her a 4-inch gun. Uh, yes, that's a thing now. A torpedo boat with a 4-inch gun. In 19... Sorry, 1890. Not even 1900. 1890. In this case, I'm going to have to move the funnel. And I want another gun over... Ah, uh, that's unlikely. Another gun over there. In which case, actually, I don't have to up the beam at all, do I? No, it's fine. It's fine. 4 weight offset is a bit high. Like a lot. That's better. Engine efficiency is still shit, but we'll have to make it work. Um, I want to do as much damage as possible. How would I go about that? Standard capitalistic shells. Holy crap. That pens seven and a half inches of armor at 5,000 meter range. At two and a half, it pens about 12 inches. Autoloaders, meaning that these things fire every 3.4 seconds. Oh no. Uh, now they fire every 2.9 seconds. Pen is good. We're not going to use brown powder. No, 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 no. We're going to use uh, maximum pen, which I think is 2 powder 3. Plus 12 and a half. There we go. 13 inches of armor, or near enough, is what we can pen at 2,500 meter range. 2.6 second reload. Yoink. Okay, we're gonna have to upgrade that. Now I have a lot of displacement left. I don't really know what to put that on. 300 ammo per gun should be more than enough. Uh, I don't know. I c oh. That makes the torpedo boat too heavy. I can do 275 tons max there. If I push this back. Four eight. One eight. Good. Excellent. Uh, engine efficiency is still shit. Oh, hold on. What if I put a bigger funnel on here? 47%. Sold. Sadly, adding torpedo tubes is going to be difficult. Unless... One has to get creative. Engine efficiency, 
Pitch is terrible, after weight offset is terrible, but I have some really big guns for this era. Uh, we're going to add more crew, which means we're going from 14 to 21. 21. Holy crap. Okay, 21 people aboard this small thing. Let's see if they can do it. Same lineup for the enemy. Five battleships, two light cruisers, but slightly different than before. All right, you. You get to join the battle group. Uh, we're not going to launch torpedoes. We're just going to gun these guys down. Using overpen? Yeah, of course, you got absolutely no armor. High explosive. Oh, my high explosive shells need to get upgraded. Because they probably don't do enough damage. Destroyed main gun. <laughs> <laughs> what are we shooting now? Yeah, that's a battleship. Okay. Uh, load the armor piercing. We probably have way too much pen for this. And I might need to revert to semi-armor piercing. Just to not get too many pens and... Well, ricochets here. Look at this thing. The torpedo boat from the future. Four inch guns on 1890s design. What's not to like? It looks a little peculiar. Like it's not really supposed to look like that. And of course, if push comes to shove, I can still hit them with a the torpedo. It does look like we're not really doing enough damage. Because we're probably too much bow in. How much armor do you get? 11.6? Whoa. You got more armor than I'd expected. Okay, in that case, we're going to have to get closer. We're going to have to look for a flat surface and just, yeah. Detonate their ammo. Why don't you? Oh, and we're going to have to dodge some torpedoes because they will launch those. They will launch those. The Zippo is pretty badly damaged. Partial pen, partial pen, full pen, full pen, engine damaged, flooding, flooding, flooding. Damage, uh, conning tower damaged. I gotta say, these four inch guns are not as deadly as I expected. Actually. And when it comes to damage done, we're pretty even. Interesting. Can my ships launch their torpedoes? I wonder. Uh, that's your target? That is your target. That's your target. This is also your target. And this is yours. Okay, everybody, torpedo it will. What? I heard a torpedo launch. That was not a torpedo launch. You launched? Now these are only, <laughs> in quotation marks, only 18 inch torpedoes. They'll probably still insta kill this thing. It's just. Way, way too deadly. Oh, the Zippo sinks. You're gonna get hit by two? Yeah, two torpedoes will kill that. Good. Okay, everybody else, target the South Dakota. Because we have a pretty decent chance to pen that. As she starts to notice, she gets penned basically all over through her bow. And detonates quite violently. What about the Florida here? What can we do with Florida? Ammo detonated. You gotta get yourself more bulkheads, mate. You gotta get yourself more bulkheads. These were the capitalistic twos on AP. If I go heavy shells, I could probably do even more damage. Probably get even more pen. Utah. I think we can't pen that at this angle, but we can hit him with a torp. How exactly those torpedo launchers are capable of turning? I don't know. I don't really think they are. They're just looking over starboard. That's the only direction that they can actually be launched from. So there goes Utah. But they are fighting back. Pretty badly. In the sense that I have lost essentially four torpedo boats. The Stella Polare is going down and the Eridano is sinking. 
Auriga and Poluche are still here. Fighting for what they're worth, but it's... <laughs> it's a bit, a bit tricky. Time for the Fargo. Uh, let's get you off the div. Let's get you not avoiding collisions. Ammo explosion. Holy crap. Even 4-inch guns are just way too deadly. South Carolina, then. What can we do with the South Carolina? We're gonna have to gun this thing down, because we got no further torpedoes. Nothing. Now, I'll mention it again, down below in the description, you can find a link on how to edit the save files. That's how I did this. Um, in the video there, I explain how you can edit beam and draft. But what I did for this one is build a 1940s destroyer, or basically any 1940s ship. Save that, so um, just have your design saved in custom battles. Then go into the custom battle data file, which I outline in that video. And there you can see an overview of all the tech that is available to a ship as you're designing it. Which, after I copied it over to the torpedo boat, as I had designed it, suddenly gave the torpedo boat all sorts of marvelous technology so that these torpedo boats can be using like the 24 inch torpedoes but also the 4 inch mark 5 guns to great effect i might add to great effect because these things are well let's just say they're picking a battleship pretty clean I just need to switch to HE in order to continuously do damage. Because it looks like the South Carolina is fighting back and has almost succeeded in sinking the Origa. The Poluche is not too far off. Although the Poluche... The Poluche needs to fire AP. Origa is probably going to go down. Here we go. Pen, 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 pen. Flooding. Yes, that's more like it. That's more like it. We've done 25,000 damage with these torpedo boats from hell. Oh, snap. Oh, dear. You better take those. Nope, you dodged? No, you didn't dodge. You don't have engine power. You just flat out missed. Oh, we're out of AP shells. Okay, HE it is. Origa sinks. Oh, Pelucci, it's all on you now. It's all on you. Can you do it? Oh. oh, that's not good. Oh, no. No. Fortunately, they fire 15 inch torpedoes, which is not great for the Paluche, but it's not as bad as it could be. And the South Carolina is about to sink. There she goes. Yeah, even four inch guns from 1940s are extremely deadly. Um, how much pen can I give these guns at best? Because it's currently 12.9. If I make these heavy shells, 14.6. That's a lot of damage. A two and a half kilometer range is what I'm looking at. Um, if I go the semi armor piercing route, I think against the battleship superstructure, they might be able to do quite a bit. So we're going to go for light shells. Uh, as much pen as possible, which I believe was Dunite, although it's not very stable. And for propellant, shell damage, here, two powder. Still gives you 6.7 inches of pen, 5.5 at 2.5 kilometer range. If you go for maximum capitalistic HE, yeah, that's going to be pretty deadly as well. Okay, next round, let's have a look. Okay. The torpedo boats from hell have returned. And it's the Canopo, Alcione, Zippo, Vega, and Calypso. All of you, we are going to set course to the enemy. We are going to do that in one nice formation. And we're going to go to full speed, firing, semi armor piercing. Open fire on the lead vessel, which is all getting blocked. Nope, that's a pen? It's a light cruiser, after all. Not going to be terribly survivable. Pen. 
Parcel pen. Oh, we're hitting something else? Accident- yep, we're hitting something else accidentally, because it happened to get too close. What if we fire HE? At this lead target. Oh, the Canopo is... Pretty screwed. Pretty screwed indeed. I think we might not win this if we don't deploy torpedo launchers. 20% chance to pen with AP. And she's not cutting it, is it? Switch back to AP. Full pen with HE. Take it. Louisville. Not sure which one's the bigger threat here. It could be the battleships. 65 damage, 359, 258. Yeah, it's the battleships. Okay. Uh, in that case, let's help them along. Vega, that's your torpedo target. Zippo, this guy's yours. Alcione, uh, target the Bane Bridge. Torpedo launcher's free. Except for Calypso. And Canopo. Canopo, there. Launcher off. Torpedo away, away, away. Now, I am sailing right through their div. So, yeah, of course I'm going to take a lot of damage doing this. Ideally, you do it a bit safer. This could hit. Louisville's down. He dodges. Long Beach takes a hit. And... Oh, this is going to be problematic. That's a lot of damage. <laughs> Alchone is in trouble. Go on. Four percent chance to pin. <laughs> Hold on. It's happening though. They're getting pinned right through the bow. Four belt pen. What? Four belt has five inches of armor. We're a thousand meters out. Ah, okay, we can pen that. And considering we don't ricochet, it's even worse for the Illinois. <laughs> Uh, ultimate abnormal dreadnoughts. It's funny. Alchone is basically dead here. Especially since they also throw a torpedo tube. And Illinois will also sink. But this time around, the enemy seems to be doing quite well. There goes the Illinois. Because I haven't sunk. I've sunk one battleship now. It's not going fast enough. So yeah. You know what? I'll end this uh, this folly over here. Again, link down below in the description is how you can adjust these torpedoes. Oh, sorry, how you can adjust these ships. Uh, not necessarily a very serious way to play the game, but you can have all sorts of fun with it. Be sure to back up your file before you do it, because you can mess up your game. You can mess up your ship designs if you have any ones that you're particularly fond of. So in that case, particularly back up your game files. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what your thoughts are down below. And if you have any further crazy challenges, then by all means, let me know down below in the comments.